So I'm going to be talking about the best treatments for acne. I'll be covering the best topical treatments as well as the best oral treatments. Acne, as we know, tends to affect lots of teenagers, also affects adults as well, and is a condition that can really affect your confidence and social awareness. So when we talk about the treatment of acne, we have to divide acne into mild, moderate to severe. Mild acne tends to be some blackheads, whiteheads, and some papules and postules as well. Moderate acne, these blackheads and whiteheads and papules and postules tends to be more widespread. Whereas with severe acne, you also get that on top of the more inflamed, bigger acne, which now look more like cysts. You know, the comedones can be quite tender when you touch them as well. And usually most people tend to have acne on the face, so you can have acne on the chest and back as well. If the acne is confined to the face, then topical treatments are usually the drug of choice. If the acne spreads to the chest, back, or not working with topical treatments, that's when you consider oral treatments. In terms of the best topical treatments for acne, for me is a choice of this top three, which would be Duac, Epiduo, or Xynorate. Now, Duac contains benzoyl peroxide and clindamycin. It is very effective. It's usually used once a day onto the affected areas of the face. You don't need to apply the cream to the whole face, just apply it to the areas where you've got the acne. Once a day, usually once in the evening after you've washed your face. Again, do not wash your face with harsh ingredients like soap because that can actually make the acne worse. So you might want to use a neutral gel or an acne wash gel, which you can buy over the counter. In terms of mild acne, most people will try over-the-counter treatments such as your Freederms, your Clerosils, Acnederms, and if those treatments are not working, that's when you start using your creams like your Duac. Duac, as I said, you apply once in the evening after you've washed your face. Do bear in mind that for the first couple of weeks, you might experience a drying effect, but as your skin becomes more sensitized to the cream, then you might notice that the drying effect starts to wear off, or you might also get redness as well and peeling off the face. If, however, these side effects persist, then you might want to try one of the other different creams. So Duac is quite effective, but like any other treatment, it takes time to work, so it could take up to six weeks before you see maximum benefits with the cream. If the cream is not working or you're experiencing dryness and peeling of the face, you might want to try other options such as Epiduo. Epiduo contains the retinoid called adapalene and benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide component helps with drying out the skin, while the antibiotic component, which you get in Duac, for example, you know, helps to kill the bacteria and reduce the inflammation. Adapalene is not an antibiotic, but it does have the same properties as the antibiotics. Epiduo again is similar to Duac in the sense that again you use it once in the evening and again it can take up to six weeks to see maximum benefit. This is also the same with Xynorit which contains zinc and erythromycin. You know zinc acetate you know again has anti-inflammatory properties, helps to dry out the acne, reduce the inflammation while the erythromycin is the antibiotic that helps to kill the bacteria as well as reduce the inflammation and stop the excess production of oil that can block the pores and cause the acne. Now out of the three so if we're considering Zynorate, Epiduo or Duac, my top choice would be Epiduo, which is the adapalene and benzoyl peroxide, simply because from feedbacks we've noticed that Epiduo is less harsh on the skin compared to Duac. The adapalene is quite good because it helps with reducing blackheads, it also helps with reducing scarring and hyperpigmentation, which is something the Duac or the Zynorate does not do. Now Zynorate works wonderful for acne, However, most people will find that it doesn't work as quickly as either Duac or Epiduo. However, it does the job, but not as strong as Duac or Epiduo. So my go-to topical treatment for acne is Epiduo, then number two will be Duac, and number three will be Xynorate. Now, if these treatments are not working, or you've got acne in the chest and the back and a quite moderate acne as well, you might find that it's not really practical to try and apply these creams to the chest and back, though you might want to do so, but to treat everything all together, the best treatment would be to go for the oral treatment. Now you find that it's better to use combination of both the oral and the topical as opposed to using just the oral on its own. So while you're taking the oral tablet, you're using the topical treatment on the face. So let's say out of the topical treatments, we've gone for Epiduo. Now what do we have for the oral treatment? So usually it's the cost of antibiotics. So the choice of antibiotics would be Limecycline, Doxycycline, your Oxytetracyclines, your erythromycins, you've got your trimetoprims, and you've also got spironolactone, which is not an antibiotic and is usually used for blood pressure and heart failure. Trimetoprim is, as you know, is also used in urinary tract infection, but also works for acne as well. 
Now, lamicyclines, doxycyclines, and your oxytetracyclines all belong to the same class. But out of those three, I'll be going for lamicycline, 408 milligrams. It's taken once a day. It doesn't cause as much side effects as your doxycyclines and your oxytetracyclines, which is usually diarrhea and abdominal cramps. And also, with the ease of dosing, it's only once a day. Your doxycycline can be once or twice a day. Your exotetracyclines, you have to take quite a few tablets. And the concern about oxytetracycline is that it can also permanently stain the teeth. So my preferential choice would be lamicycline, and epidural taken as a combination of antibiotics. If lamicycline is not working, then you consider your other options such as your erythromycins, your trametoprims, your doxycyclines, or your oxytetracyclines. But lamicycline is safe and doesn't cause as much side effects. Now, another option to consider, especially in women, is the contraceptive pill. Acne, as I mentioned, can be due to overproduction of the oil glands. It can also be due to hormonal imbalances where you've got your testosterone imbalance estrogen imbalance as well as your LH and FSH and some women have a condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome where basically acne is one of the symptoms and you find that the best option to go for is actually the combined contraceptive pill. The mini pill in some women can actually make your acne worse so you want to go for combined because you've got both the estrogen and progesterone which helps to rebalance the hormones. The best choice of treatment in terms of the oral contraceptive pill for acne is either your Yasmin or your Dianet. Yasmin or Dianet are very effective for acne. They're also contraceptive pills, but because they have high estrogenic properties, it is usually advised not to use those pills for more than two years after the treatment has worked. So when you use this like any other contraceptive pill, where you basically take 21 tablets, and you've got your seven day free, so you don't have to worry about contraception, while at the same time, it clears your skin. Do bear in mind that you can just go out and take the contraceptive pill. Your doctor needs to make sure that you don't have any risk factors for having a blood clot, such as having a high BMI or any family history of blood clots before you qualify to go for any of these contraceptive pills. Now, we've talked about the antibiotics, such as your lamicyclines, your spironolactones, your contraceptive pills, but some people actually find that the best treatment out of all these treatments is Roaccutane. Now, Roaccutane is an oral retinoid. It's basically like a magical tablet. It just clears out your skin. But like I said, if it's hormonal, you might want to consider a hormonal option instead of Roaccutane. Roaccutane has to be prescribed by a dermatologist because it does have side effects. You need to be monitored. It can affect your liver, it can affect your cholesterol. If you're trying for pregnancy, then you might want to avoid Roaccutane because it can cause birth defects in the baby as well. If you've got mental health problems, such as anxiety or depression or psychosis, or you have a history of suicidal thoughts, then Roaccutane is also a medication that you would want to avoid because Roaccutane can actually worsen your mood symptoms. However, Roaccutane is very effective and in most cases, your acne doesn't come back or it might take a few years before it comes back again. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please feel free to share, like, and subscribe.